We begin with the shakeup in South Lake. The fallout from the resurfaced allegations has been swift. Robert Morris is the founder of Gateway Church, one of the largest churches in the country. Upon news that he was stepping down, church elders who initially defended him now say they didn't have all the facts. Let's get straight to our Andrea Lucia, who has been following the story and was among the first to learn of Morris's resignation. What's the latest, Andrea? Yeah, the now former pastor of Gateway Church, Robert Morris, admitted over the weekend to what he called an inappropriate sexual relationship. Church elders at the time told us this happened more than 35 years ago and that it had been properly disclosed to them. In a statement that came out within just the last hour or so, they now say they did not know the victim was only 12 years old or that the abuse lasted more than four years. They say their prior understanding was that Morris's extramarital relationship, which he discussed many times throughout his ministry, was with a young lady and not abuse of a 12-year-old child. That's the same term, by the way, Morris used in a statement just this weekend, young lady. Well, take a look at this picture of Cindy Clemeshire at the age of 12. This is who we are talking about. She says that Morris's accounts of what happened suggest she was older than she was and that he was younger. In a sermon Morris gave 10 years ago, you can hear him discuss his sexual immorality as a teen. I learned to lie and manipulate. Uh, because I also had rejection, uh, I didn't want to be rejected. So I looked for the girls that would be the most susceptible. And I learned how to spot this in girls. At the time of Clemeshire's alleged abuse, Morris was in his 20s and already married. Clemeshire says that for many years she felt responsible and embarrassed. With age, she says she's learned better and gained the courage to speak out. Has my mindset shifted? Yes. I'm not to blame. I shouldn't have shame on me. I don't. I don't live in shame anymore. A church elders initially told us that Morris was being open and forthright about what they called uh, his moral uh, failure. They have now hired a law firm to review uh, the chain of events between 1982 to 1987 to make sure that they do have a full understanding of what happened. They say uh, of, the, of what they've learned so far in just the last few days, though, uh, it has them uh, appalled and heartbroken. And by the way, as soon as we learned about Morris's resignation, I reached out to Clemish to break the news to her. She responded with just one word. Wow. Reporting live in Southlake, Andrea Lucia, CBS News, Texas.